Okay, here's, get back up here. 1927 Model T Ford. Uh, I'll start with the top, I guess. Top looks in good shape to me. I don't see any holes or rips or anything. I'm not sure if he had it replaced or if this is original. I don't have a clue. Never thought to ask him that stuff. Uh, back seat's a little rough. You can see that it's starting to come apart. You'd have to reupholster this, I'm sure. The door, back door, the seat, the floor, an old jack lean on the floor. This is the other side. It's kind of rough right in here. It's a few rips and stuff. I'd be a little ripped if I was 1927 vintage too. But I guess you know, I do the door. There's a little toolbox here on the side. It's got, uh, I'm assuming these are batteries. I'm not a mechanic or, but I'm assuming what these are what these are. And some of the tools that came with the car, an old jack and a wrench and other stuff in here. There. And let's see here. This is a cover that was on. I'll throw that back seat. So this is the front seat. This is really rough. As you can see, it's got a hole there, and it's, it's going to need to reupholster. There's a couple old lights you had that I think go with it. And this old mirror thing was laying in the barn. I think that might have gone with it, but I'm not sure. And here's the dash. Windows. Okay. Here's the front end. There's a little green here on that. I don't know if it's corroded. I don't I don't think it's leaking. There's no water or anything around. Front axle looks good. These tires, tires seem to be pretty good. They've been sitting in that garage here behind me, over here for at least two years now. He started a couple of years ago and they're running two and a half years ago, I'm gonna say. But it's been in that garage most of the time since then. And, and uh, yeah, the tires, I had to put air in, I think it was this back tire, I had to put a little air in this one. The rest of them were still inflated enough I could roll it out here. I was kind of surprised by that. Personally, I don't know what that gate's about. Maybe that's part of the program. Maybe he's put something there. I don't know. Box or something. But here's the rear end with the spare. And then underneath the back here, you can see the rear axle and stuff. And up underneath, this is a muffler. It looks like a carrier for battery. I didn't know that must have been where the batteries went. I thought they, I didn't know if they even had batteries. They must have, but shows you how much I know about them all. C4. And let's see, going to this side up in the front, maybe. Here's the front part. These the little steps here got some rest on them, but they seem pretty solid. Uh, let's see, well, look at the engine. This is one side. It's got a fairly new belt on it, looks like. Uh, this the must be the gas, I would guess, down there. Alternator. I do know I'm not much of a mechanic. I know just enough to get in trouble. I know nothing about how to even run this thing. We used to have a farm all H on the farm. We had to start with a crank like that one. But I've never even tried to start this because I don't know what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. But that gives you an idea what the engine compartment looks like. Uh, I don't know what else you might need, Jeff, but I will send this to you. 
you can uh, let me know what you think and I will talk to you later on if you need more I'll send you more sorry it took me so long to get this to you uh, hopefully talk with you soon you have a good day but that's it right there and so it needs a new owner because I'm not a uh, car man but somebody hopefully would appreciate to have that and enjoy it and I hope they do give me a call see ya